This video will be about setting up Namecheap domain with Google Workspace and creating DNS records for Namecheap domain. So start by opening two tabs. Uh, in one tab, log in to your Microsoft 365 Admin Center and in the second one, log in to your Namecheap. Then uh, from the main window, you will type domains and click on domains. Here is the list of domains that you've already created and we are going to add a new one. Click on add domain and enter your domain name. I'm gonna copy it from here but you can type it manually. And now you can click add use this domain. So now we will have to add a new txt record uh, to prove the ownership of the domain. So select the first option and click continue. Now we need to create this txt record in our Namecheap DNS uh, management. Uh, let's click on manage here. And then click on advanced DNS. So it takes you to all the um, DNS records that exist already for this domain. So you want to click on this red button, add new record. We will create a txt record, host is at, and we will copy the value. TTL is 60 minutes, and click save all changes. So now we created the txt record, click verify. We'll have to wait a few minutes and click uh, again. So now the records have been updated. Uh, we can continue. And we can add these two, uh, three new records. So we will create MX record, CNAME record, and TXT record. So let's start with MX records. On the DNS page, scroll down and find the mail settings. Um, from the drop down list, select custom MX and then we will uh, add the host the host is add and we will copy the value let's see priority is zero and ttl is 60 minutes click save all changes so now we have mx record Created. We can continue to create a CNAME record. Let's copy the host name. We will add the CNAME record here. Click on the red button. Paste the host name. Let's copy the value. And TTL is 60 minutes. Click save all changes so the next one is txt record so the host name is add and the value is copied add new record txt add and paste the value here and select 60 minutes save all changes so now we have created all three records. We can continue. The main setup is complete. Uh, click done. As you can see, the domain, domain is listed here and status is healthy. Now we can continue to create Dikim and then DMARC records. So to create the Kim record, we need to go to the security section. 
type decim. And find your domain here on the list. So this is the domain that we just connected. You want to click on it and then click on create Dikim keys. So Microsoft will create keys that we need to copy into the name chip. Now we need to create C name records. We will create two CNAME records, so first and the second. So click on the red button and select CNAME. Then copy the host name. Copy the value. and click save all changes. Now let's do another one. And click save all changes. So now that we created two uh, DKIM records, uh, it will take a few minutes or even hours for the records to update. So you can try and enable it right away. And if it's not updated yet, you can come back and uh, try again later. So yeah, here's the message um, that obviously we need to wait a bit longer. So I will pause the video and come la back later to try and enable it again. So let's try again. Okay, so the DKIM signatures are created. And now we can proceed to the last step and that's adding the DMARC uh, DMARC record. So let's go to Namecheap and we will create a new record that's going to be txt record and the host is underscore DMARC and the value I'm going to copy from our help article. So you can use this article to generate the DMARC as well, or you can create it yourself, or you can use some of the online generators. And let's not forget to change the email address here to the one that you want to use for receiving DMARC reports. Now that we've copied the text, we will click Save Changes. So now the DMARC is ready. We have MX Records, SPF, DKIM, DMARC. Um, now we can go ahead and create users for this domain. We can connect them to instantly and then start warm-up process for the accounts.